Okay, um, John again. Thursday, 21st, August 2014. Uh, this is a message for CIB, Criminal Investigation Branch of the Auckland Central Police Station. Uh, Detective Inspector Gary Davey. Um, thank you for talking to me yesterday uh, to pick up on a file from uh, Philip Taylor in Odahu CIB. Uh, thank you, Philip. You've done a wonderful job for me since 2009, uh, investigations into the Falconer case in London. Uh, everybody's seen that now. I've put it on Facebook again just to let them know we had a fraud case done then and you verified there was. So I'm uh, waiting for uh, a response from Gary uh, to pick up on what has happened here on Cook Street, 61 Cook Street and the Douglas uh, Ricard Bell Ricard Bell is the surname, case, uh, very serious, very serious uh, case. I just want to, it's quicker for me to explain to you on video uh, just what happened there, um, uh, our involvement. It was in 2008 when the property came up for sale as a uh, foreclosure on um, uh, on. Um, um, what's his name? Uh, the owner before that, Peters. Uh, Peters uh, was foreclosed. He's uh, mixed up with uh, Ricard Bell on the Whangapura uh, properties in the Gulf Harbour. And so he allowed me to uh, do his case to investigate it and gave me the titles. 61 Cook Street. Um, so in doing so, I put it all together uh, for him to see where the problem was with his uh, foreclosure with the Westpac Bank and because um, it was 300 million uh, out of that 100 million uh, owing to the Westpac Bank. So I looked at it because I'm in real estate uh, before um, around the area, and Wimura, and Epsom, and the city. I put that all together uh, for him and found out uh, just where the titles were on how he got it from the council uh, selling it uh, with a lease as well as uh, the sale of the property. Uh, so um, I told Bailey's Real Estate not to sell it. But they did. They did after I issued them uh, um, a notice. And because we were registering our interest on it as the original owners to the Manukau Land Company title from Glasgow, um, Britain, British title. Well, all these land in Auckland is British title, not the government of Wellington using company titles of the New South Wales government. So there's two different uh, distinctions of titles in this country. The Maori land titles of the uh, New South Wales government and the crown titles straight from Britain. Um, as you will see that there are two jurisdictions on both. So I'm going under the jurisdiction of Admiralty of King William IV straight from Britain. And so the government here is getting their jurisdiction from the 1840 treaty which is uh, assumption of a sovereignty of the Queen of England, uh, Gary. So now she's gone. She's no longer in Westminster. She's gone to the European Union Parliament as the New World Order, as far as I know, because I'm up to it with uh, what's happening in Britain because of these land titles in the Commonwealth and affecting uh, all the titles here. Uh, because she's a private company now and in competition, direct threat to us here in our Moai uh, Crown Federal State uh, government 
titles with Britain, British government, directly as their partner. Okay, so they have one eighth of interest in the title under Queen Victoria Trust, which the Queen has hijacked and taken, in with her, right? In that title, um, Gary, on this flag, that's supposed to be hanging up in this country. This is the most powerful flag in the world. It is a commercial land levy, debtors levy, creditors, trading bank of England, commercial contract, private uh, partnership with Britain. You see those stars? One of those is Queen Victoria and seven other points. One of the points is Queen Victoria and the British people and the immigrants here from Britain, expats, and the other seven is the wakas of our tribes here from the Pacific Islands and New Zealand. Okay? That's how it works. So I'm here as the seven-eighth majority holding on these titles of the trust of Queen Victoria, 1844, that the Queen's run off with. Okay? She's exited Westminster. So this government in Wellington has no legal authority of sovereignty to govern itself, if ever there was. But we have the King, defaults back to the King of England when she's vacant. She's not there. It defaults back to us. And I'm going in as the head trust, head trust trustee of our trust, the Queen Victoria uh, Gold Trust Fund, that she has 750,000 tonnes, metric tonnes of gold, $17 trillion worth of 66 million acres of land that she says she owns. But the trust belongs to the Westminster Parliament. And the birth certificates, all of that money, all of that equity, all of that wealth that she's carted out of Westminster and out of the lands of England into Germany, Nazi and or the European Union Parliament. Okay? So that's a threat now. She is a threat from there to the Wales, the Scotland and the England people. And Jeff uh, Foley, HRH um, Prince Regent, Jeffrey Foley, for us here, he's the Lord High Constable, um, Magistrate of Law Hayden Castle in Wales for England. Okay, so he's a king in waiting. And we nominated him, and he's nominated us to go into Westminster. So we have a reciprocal partnership going on here, a new one, outside of King William, at the present time, defaults back to us, his partner. Okay, Gary, I'm just speeding you up so that you don't have to go and search around for answers that these land titles come under that jurisdiction, straight from Britain, one of your... Uh, uh, expats uh, from there, not from Australia. Those uh, pommies from Australia are the mischief ones in Wellington with John Key and Judith Collins playing up. Okay, Everything they do is playing up. They're all in the box. You'll see on Facebook I put on there again yesterday. Their name's in the box. And the King William uh, Admiralty Jurisdiction Court of Justice Okay, that's direct straight online on Facebook, um, Gary. So all I'm saying here is this. I'm taking over uh, the authority, uh, the administration of the Queen uh, before we get to England. They're waiting for us there. Now, I want to deal with this 61 Cook Street before I go and the properties on the East Cape of New Zealand where my land blocks, Uetaha and Rongomaitapui, um, and sisters, especially at Lawton Point. Um, uh, we'll alert the police down there. I will expect you to do that because of Graham Smith, one of the Australians, giving me a hard time today, and say he'll snap my legs off. You see, that's one of these mischief pirates from Australia that have come here on, on the coattails of John Key's uh, corporation with the Queen's corporation. She's a private person now in private contract in direct conflict with us now, with our trust um, funds, 
uh, order goal uh, 970 million trillion trillion pound notes in gold bullion Gary that for real because Philip Taylor CIB in Otahu, South Auckland already been over this lot he's quite convinced because I've got a video of him talking to me okay that he's quite convinced that we are on the right track as far as this title in Cook Street is concerned he said why does it take so long why why what, what do you muck around get on with it you see well I took that as a yes I took his assessment as they can see the people are watching me all around the world witnessing what's happening here so I'm saying to you um, uh, to speed things up uh, to please let us do the job if you can tell us yes there is a fraud with Doug Rickard Bell and that property that's all I need to know I didn't need to know anything else other than Aaron Pasco, the uh, senior detective sergeant uh, and criminal investigator of the police here in Auckland uh, said to me this Gary he said this Mr. Wano, I do not want to get in contract with you and that's it you see once he said that it meant he had no jurisdiction over anything I say or do on that block of land that he says oh it's a bad idea to go and talk to the tenants you see he interfered with me and my business with me and my ship and my conveyancing titles because King William the fourth put all that conveyancing titles together for every land block in the Commonwealth okay so I'm in charge of all that you can stop it or make it go so in this case we're terminating the payment of interest from the land block to the Queen because you're not going to pay the Queen when she's not there in Britain she's in Germany or somewhere else with her business her private contract business that we are building and living living her companies everything will be stripped off her okay and we're printing the pound note Gary against her and all that money I just said and the gold and the birth certificates and everything linked to everybody who's linked to her name including here the government here linked to Queen Elizabeth II or private person now Elizabeth Windsor um, default convicted criminal felon in the world court with a warrant on her head for arrest Gary okay so everyone linked to her is an accessory to her fraud means everything that was created here came under her title and her fraud that's all I want to say is that when I go on to the property next week after Tuesday because I'm giving them 72 hours notice to David Cameron uh, Prime Minister of Britain and to Philip Hammond Secretary of State uh, Foreign Affairs and Commonwealth UK Minister the Queen Elizabeth Windsor John Key uh, oh um, the serious photo office David Green in UK and the serious photo office office here uh, Mike, um, uh, Alan McCallum and John Key Prime Minister Jerry Matapurai Andrews uh, Governor General right and uh, Mike Bush the police commissioner just to let them know we're taking 61 Cook Street and those property down the East Coast okay we don't want the police to assist them as third party in this contract that I'm doing under King William okay anybody that interferes I'm just letting you know uh, my part of the law as a legal advocate uh, up against the courts here we don't go to the courts here because they have less jurisdiction than I have online our court is the High Court of Admiralty Gary online the same court in London you'll see Judge David Lindsay Mackey there 
his photos there, locked, right? And um, Sir George Zambalas, uh, um, Rear Admiral of the Navy there, UK, locked. And uh, uh, Rear and um, uh, Superintendent or um, Nicholas Horton, Chief Commander of the Army, locked on that page as a High Court online okay that's admissible it's admissible in high court of admiralty in london they will take our affidavits which we are doing online they'll take our affidavits as uh, admissible evidence in the high court of admiralty in london they have specialized courts in uh, fitter lane uh, for our case they've got our complaints from here about this land block 61 cook street and every other land block we have lined up behind that. Okay, so just to let you know, we would love you to uh, uh, keep us aside while we go and do our business to res uh, to put uh, Gray Mallet uh, investigations in there to seize the property. Now, I just say that though the Simon Roundtree, the owner, um, and, well, the, uh, the buyer of that property uh, from Rickard Bell, the Ford star, that Dell and James Brown has to go back to their lawyer who sold the property is the conveyancing instrument. It's not a real title. It's only a bank instrument. Now, I'll just say one more time. All those bank instruments were put together through the Bank of England. William Patterson put the Bank of England together. King William III legislated the act of the Bank of England and put the uh, uh, mortgage liens on that title around Europe and Britain. And that was in 1694, the Bank of England Act. Okay? Just, I'm, I'm just telling you about that mortgage over here, same mortgage around the Commonwealth. So King William IV uh, was instrumental in 1830 to 1837 reign, legislated the Act of Parliament of UK, uh, the Bank of England Act uh, and the uh, uh, mortgage liens uh, to go around the world uh, at, under Admiralty. Flag, this flag, this flag. Gary, that flag. He put it on that flag. The Confederation of Chiefs flag here he gave to us. He gave to us to keep as free passage to the world. Now, if you listen to uh, Andrew, Prince Andrew, he's, he's talking to this flag. You see, he's, he's not ancestor to that king. Okay, nothing. So that's where I've gone in to take over this flag on behalf of our native chiefs here at Waitangi, the Napui chiefs that signed that contract. Nobody else, not Tainui, not anybody else. They don't appear on the contract. Okay, so this is all about contracts, law. Uh, Gary, uh, I'm very good at contract law. And we have uh, you, Tayek Choi, our um, notary public, Crown, Queen's Bench uh, lawyer acting for us, downtown Auckland here, and Hickson's lawyers and um, uh, commercial uh, international contract lawyers acting for us at the same time, okay? Right through the Pacific. So be very careful of how you treat land titles here because they're under our control from now on, okay? And because the government has uh, uh, no security uh, over, the, over what they do uh, anymore with the Queen gone, right? They can't, they can't bring her into, uh, uh, into this contract because we've got her in a, locked in a contract to seize everything off her and anybody else that interferes with this title. So I um, just said in a video to uh, Simon Roundtree and James Brown, uh, do not call the police to assist you to come and, um, when we go onto the land because you'll drag them into a contract with us and you'll drag yourself into a contract. You, you, it's already bad enough now with everybody in that contract, uh, with you, without you being in there, 
you're better off to walk the other way walk the other way uh, and that's what I'm saying Gary for them to walk the other way and go back to the lawyer and tell them to reverse the title and get their money back from the land information you've got these people uh, Robert Meir the land register general on notice right he these are the four people that did that title uh, Doug Ricard Bell the instigator of the title uh, fraud um, Don Grant the Australian uh, uh, surveyor general that came here from Australia particularly to pick up on this and join Lynn's Land Information New Zealand as the new manager okay come out of retirement uh, that's how bad it is he got involved with this he was the one that forged the survey title and put the new title over the old road title the crown the only a crown person can do that so they made him a crown this is Chris Pendleton the Attorney General came in made him a crown and straight from Australia straight here okay this is how bad it gets and Chris Pendleton signed it off he signed off this bad title bad title uh, Gary if you look up bad title this is one of them the worst title in the whole of the Commonwealth this one it takes the cake okay they got it they didn't think I was gonna pull this one off no I just waited till they got really in a big hole and now they can't get out of it right because they shut their mouth said nothing to the affidavits ignored them right till now and now the Queen's gone it made it worse for them because they can't get out of this one that easy so I'm just warning Simon Rountree and James Brown don't get caught up in a bad title because you bought a lemon title here on that block of land that was um, disputed of the title and because of the jurisdictions of uh, Admiralty they can't they haven't got the seal of King William the fourth we have they've only got a pedal that's not good enough Gary the government's seal of their Admiralty is a pedal and I dare say the police are using the French Admiralty for their oath of office that's another one that's another one that I'm questioning whose authority is the police swearing their oath to the community the iwi here you can forget about the iwi Ngāti because they're not the owners I put them up to it they are not the owners here right we have the title here the Moai statue is the memorial up there on the, in the domain in the museum that's our title it's sitting in Dunedin in the museum there that's our title it's on the beach in Wellington right the beach there it says it looks like Maori right but it's Moai where am I from East Island so it's sitting in London right that's the stamp you see right we got the stamp of Moai that's the memorial to the land in London that's our title Gary that I'm going under and this flag that's King William's title we got a king we got a flag and we got a memorial stone bang in the ground okay in Washington DC New York uh, Singapore uh, uh, Chile uh, New Zealand Brussels France right it's all over the place the real Maui statues is the title to this earth planet okay so that's what that the capacity I'm coming from with the title to this land block there and the ones at East Cape so I'm telling you right now that we're taking the motel at Lotton Point Motel because that's on my Urupa my ancestors gravesite is right underneath they put that motel built it right on top against our uh, um, ancestors uh, wishes they just went boom straight over the top of it and that other Smith guy right uh, Graham Smith threatened me okay he said he's gonna snap my legs off chop my legs off that was just this morning right today's day that's on a video on, on on Facebook now for everybody here what that man is like he's one of those Australian pirates okay so I don't mind the the pommies from England but not the ones in Australia because they sound like that one and they're all over this place with John Key and and uh, Judith Collins all the fraud people in government looking after themselves and their own private companies they're gonna get a bill 
they're going to get stripped, the whole lot of them, and any other immigrants here who are acting linked to them, right? Linked to them and linked to the Queen and her business. Uh, Gary, because uh, you're, you're like one of us. Uh, the police do a good job. So we're just helping the police uh, with fraud and we're identifying this one, one block of land. There's plenty of them. I'm standing on one right now. Uh, uh, Jamie Peters, that's his name, Peters. Jamie Peters owned this building I'm in on Tapora Street and he had to get rid of it, right? I'm, I'm seizing this one that I'm standing in, that they give me a hard time here. I wonder why I'm here. I'm here for the reason of these lands along here are locked up by the government here and their Crown Corporation locked it up against our wishes. And the iwi here, the Ngāti Whātua or Auraki, they're not the right owners of these lands. They can't refute the Moai and the Manukau title. The Manukau Land Company in Scotland, Gary, is the title holder straight to Britain over the whole of Auckland. The whole of Auckland, that's on paper. That's that, that name's on 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 a, on a birth certificate, okay? 18, 1830, right? 1830 birth certificates. I've got them here. I've got all the titles here. They were left with me in my care by Mohi Manukau uh, on on behalf of his family, right? I'm here for him. I'm here for Kingi Taurua, Chief of Waitangi, uh, Titi Marai, and also for Papa Hei Hei. I'm here for Sue Nikora on the East Coast, whether she likes it or not. She's the um, 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 prominent person there uh, that will look after those land blocks down there and she knows what's happening with them. So she uh, was um, uh, uh, Sir Geoffrey Palmer, the Prime Minister of the Labour government back then, that put the 1986 constitution together. She's one of them. Okay? She's a policy maker for Maori uh, land. Okay, so there you go. And um, I'm in the Rogan family. Uh, um, uh, Dick Rogan from the East Cape uh, he's the judge and the uh, land surveyors okay that's the family in England and and um, and um, uh, the Rogan uh, John Rogan married uh, the Manukau right but I am Manukau and Mohi Manukau's family right they went straight to them the Manukau and to the Wanua down the East Coast that's why I'm talking like this okay because we got lawyers uh, we got we got judges and and, and um, land surveyors in our family in my blood. Right? The other one is the lawyers. We got Cosgraves from Australia um, uh, and Britain and America in our family. Okay, that's why I'm talking like that too, like a lawyer. Um, so very careful how people treat what I've got on Facebook is real. All those documents you see are affidavits that no one, no one in the world has refuted yet, Gary. That's why they're stuck there. They won't move one inch or iota because no one is doing anything about it. That's what Philip Taylor was surprised. And the people in Britain are surprised. And Matt Taylor looking after our business in uh, Brighton, England. Uh, uh, he's surprised uh, that uh, our stuff is standing right there in front of him. And he's got the flag now, and he'll put it up and take it to Parliament and, and make uh, David Cameron put it up. David Cameron is a, is a direct descendant of King William IV. Okay, and he's not addressing our flag. He's going to be told to put it up, and it'll go up here too as well. Okay, so that's what I want to say. Um, Gary, uh, Gary Davy, thank you very much, and we'll hear from you next uh, week uh, when I... Um, I intend to go and see that property with Aylett, Graham Aylett, if you can give him a ring and let him know it's all clear to go and uh, please do not um, uh, be involved with the contract and um, just uh, stay quiet and watch the proceedings because everything will go like clockwork. Okay, We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing with these lands. We know what, um, uh, what the police are there for, uh, and so there's no problem uh, with us doing what we're doing, just like banking. And the Pattersons, uh, William Patterson put the bank together, and John Patterson and uh, crew are in Surrey. In England, they are, they are part of that uh, banking uh, family, and so they're watching. 
what happened to you because we are using uh, every legal means and instruments of legal authority to do what we do. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, people. We'll see you later and have a nice day. It's nice and sunny today in Auckland, New Zealand. Bye.